you only need to hang mean bastards. <laughs> but mean bastards you need to hang. <laughs> the Hateful Eight. The best western of 2015 directed by Quentin Tarantino almost didn't happen due to the script being leaked online. Well, if you're a Tarantino fan, you'll be glad that Samuel L. Jackson talked him into making one of the best movies of the year. Welcome back to Movie Mistakes, and today we're bringing you 10 mistakes and goofs that we found in The Hateful Eight. Cause when niggas are scared, that's when white folks are safe. For movie mistake number one, we're focusing our attention on the gun. Check out the position as it falls from the carriage. Oh, all that stupid. So as the scene continues and the camera cuts away, when it turns back, you'll notice that the position of the gun has changed. Believe a town electing you to do anything except drop dead. So I'm supposed to freeze to death because you find something hard to believe? Boy, that sure is quite a bit of snow piled up on his hat. I wonder if that makes his hat any heavier. <sighs> I suppose not. Put them on and come inside. Well, I'm almost taking it dead because you'll notice as the camera changes back and forth, the amount of snow that's on his hat now changes. Nope. <laughs> I suppose not. I personally have never had to wear shackles. Handcuffs, maybe, but never shackles. So, I do know this, that these shackles are open. Put them on and come inside. Nope. After some dialogue, you'll notice when Chris throws the shackles back into the stagecoach, they are now closed. Then you'll freeze. It's coming. Last piece. Boy, don't you hate it when movie makers can't make up their minds. Well, we love it. Notice that Daisy here has perfect teeth. You really the sheriff of Red Rock? You want to save the town? Well, if you were watching the movie, you were paying attention like we were. You'll notice that later on in the movie, Daisy is missing her front teeth and the rest of them look rotten. Then shoot that nigga! As Bob comes out the cabin to meet our travelers, take a look at the piece of meat hanging in the background. What the hell is going on? We weren't expecting another stage tonight. I just put those other horses away. You need it done fast. You need to help. I got two of my best men on it. But you'll notice after the scene rolls on for a little bit, when the hay man is taking Daisy inside, you'll notice that the piece of meat has changed. It's considerably smaller now. I wonder why. You heard him, freeloaders. Get to work. One of them bar iron rules, the kind of rules she won't kept up in her absence. You seem to have a laissez-faire attitude when it comes to the hats. I'm guilty. I have a laissez-faire attitude about the hats. So, for movie mistake number six, we're focused on Major Warren. Notice that his back is against the wall as he questions Bob about the hats. But in a quick shot, as the camera backs up, you'll notice that Major Marcus Warren is now facing Senior Bob. How about we forget about the hats today, considering there is a blizzard going on and on. We'll get there. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it way down. 
And mistake number seven, Warren is questioning the travelers, trying to figure out who in the heck poisoned the coffee. But notice as he puts his gun down. If you were paying attention like we were, you'll notice that the distance between the gun and the bullets completely changed. Who made the coffee? He did. Well, that was awful nice of Joe Gage to offer her a peppermint stick right before he's gonna shoot her. But that's just cruel that he would all of a sudden change hands so that he's confusing her. Huh, crazy. Thanks. Thank you. During the next four hours, Jody and the boys chuck the bodies down the well. So when they're dumping the dead bodies into the well, notice the background. See a lot of snow there? Wouldn't that suggest that the landscape is frozen? So wouldn't you think that the well would also be frozen over? So how is there a splash? I could see if there was maybe a crunch as they cracked through the ice below first, but come on. Got room for one more? Don't move them. Next! You sure picked the wrong time to turn into a nigger lover. Don't you see that nigger John Ruth put you smack dab in the middle of danger? For mistake number 10, we're focused on Domagoo's shoot. Take a look at the bottom of it. Does it look like there's a bullet hole already there? You're about to be murdered in some nigger named Minnie's house and you don't even know why. You really the sheriff of Red Rock? You want to save the town? Then shoot that nigger dead! Well, as consistent with movie magic, the bullet hole is now gone. But don't worry, somebody's about to put one there real soon. Ah, Jesus Christ! Oh, 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 you believe in Jesus now, huh, bitch? What well, good? You only need to hang mean bastards. But mean bastards you need to hang. <laughs> so what did you think of our video? What movie would you like to see us do next? Let us know the answer to both of these questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great movie mistakes. We want to say thanks for hanging out with us and we'll see you soon. You only need to hang mean bastards. But mean bastards you need to hang. <laughs>